Soon Gaguenau and his father got home from checking traps. They were hungry. Anouk Wazens left enough rabbit stew for five bowls. Zunge Gnu ate two bowls, and his father ate three bowls. The next day, their cousins came to visit with their fathers. Anouk Wazens left enough rabbit stew for fifteen bowls. The three boys ate six bowls. Willow said, What pigs! Those cousins eat too much. They should have left more for their fathers. They ate three times as much as our good brother did yesterday. Our cousins are bad. Don't let them visit again. Anouk Wazens explained that this was not true. They ate just the same as Zunge Gunu. She said, Yesterday we had one father and one son. The son ate this much. That is two fifths. Today we had three fathers and three sons. The sons ate six bowls from a total of fifteen bowls of soup. They ate Three times as many bowls, but I made three times as much soup, so the fraction is just the same. How can two be the same as six? Willow is still confused, so Anouk Wazens draws it out for her. Let's say this is how much soup I made yesterday. It was enough for five bowls. This is how much I made today. It was enough for fifteen bowls. If you look at the shape, the fraction part of the whole, you will see that it is exactly the same, like this. It is the same fraction of a bigger whole pot of stew. Willow was still confused, so Anouk Wazens decided to show her with numbers. Look at this. One boy times two bowls of soup equals two bowls of soup. One family times five bowls of soup equals five bowls of soup. The boy ate two fifths of the soup. Three boys times two bowls of soup equals six bowls of soup. Three families times five bowls of soup equals fifteen bowls of soup. Even though the three boys ate six bowls of soup, it was still the same fraction, two-fifths. Willow was getting excited. What if there were ten boys? How many bowls of soup would they eat? How many bowls of soup would ten whole families eat? Answer Willow's question to go on to the next level.